Alrighty guys, so this is a 2015 Passat TDI diesel. Uh, it's the SEL with the fender system. And I'm uh, just going to do a quick review of this uh, RCD 330. Uh, as you know, is the uh, swap swappable radio from uh, overseas. Anyways, uh, went ahead and I was having some issues with the RNS 510 that was here, which is the GPS with the six dicks player in it. And uh, the issue was it was reboot looping. It was just loop and loop and loop and loop and never get to the radio, stuff like that. So I ended up finding that if you reload the uh, firmware on that unit, you can get it to work, which I bought the disc and reloaded the firmware and it worked fine, uh, which is great because I was able to sell that on eBay to pay for all of this. Uh, which this in unit, you know, has its little t quirks and stuff, but um, it works 100% better than that other unit. Plus, it has Waze and, and CarPlay and all that other fun stuff. So that's the big reason I wanted this was the CarPlay. Um, we travel a pretty good bit in this car, so Waze is great and everything else is just a bonus. Um, so real quick, uh, it's super easy to put in. You take all this trim off. Right through here, it all kind of pops out with a little tool all the way around. Uh, do note that if you unplug this right here, it's the airbag light, it will actually cause a airbag light to come on and uh, you can't just, it doesn't just reset itself. Uh, you actually have to own VCDS or go to the dealer to get it replaced. Uh, I've got VCDS, so I'll replace it, you know, turn it off when I get to the house. So anyways, uh, it's pretty responsive. Um, you know, no, no big issues. It supports the split screen. Um, you know, I use Spotify a ton. You can grab into Spotify. Like I said, I use Waze a whole lot. Works there. It does work with the buttons right out of the box. No problems. Uh, this button will do Siri. You know, it's, it's really slick. Um, also I got the reverse camera working. Um, that was a little bit interesting, but the gist of it is is the camera that is on this car runs in a component scenario whereas the receiver is a composite so you have to put in a adapter so uh, where i bought this radio i can put a link in uh, the radio come from rc let's see is uh rcd330.com and it also has the rear usb option as you can see carplay is here and i don't have anything hanging out of here so uh if we look down here there's a little black deal right there, and that is a wireless CarPlay adapter. Um, let me pull it out of there. So the brand of it is CarPlay 2 Air, and I just got it, got it sitting in here until uh, I can, I'm gonna put it in this aux place one day. But until then, that's just kind of where it is, and I've got my rapid charger there. Um, if you do have the MDI stuff, none of this stuff works anymore uh, when you put in the new unit. So uh, either way, the rear USB comes down the back, down here. This whole cup holder thing pops out. Uh, you kind of pry back here in the back and just pull, and it will pop up. And so the cable comes around the back, comes down here in between the emergency cable, and boom, right there into there. Uh, works really well. Uh, like I said, this is all wireless. So uh, I've, got, I've got my data charging, you know, but it's not plugged into the USB of the device it's actually just charging so it's 100 percent wireless everything works uh some of the people have complained that the wireless adapter will mess up every now and then you have to kind of reset it by unplugging it and plugging it back in i've had it about two weeks now and the only real issue i had is is that you know unplug and plug back in uh, but the good thing is both the adapter and the head unit are updatable so as people find fixes you can update the firmware and you know less issues uh, back to the camera real quick. So the camera has an adapter box. It's got three cables on it It's got a yellow cable a red cable and a black cable the black cables ground and I took the yellow and red cable and just put them together So it runs from here down to the bottom Behind this thing to the fuse box. It's in here in this corner and I've got it on a ignition switched fuse so it's only getting power when the car is running and uh Really, they want you to run the yellow wire all the way around the car to the back to hook into the rear tail light for the reverse light so it can get a plus 12 voltage to know to turn on. I wasn't real concerned with it. Um, 
they're really teeny tiny wires it doesn't draw a lot of power i said screw it and just put them together so as soon as you turn the car on the thing's on and ready and already converting video signal uh, that way when you put it in reverse it's boom you know ready to go um you can you can adjust it all there all that fun stuff but i mean it works pretty pretty great uh sorry about that uh i'm gonna have to edit these together but anyways it's got the radio here uh note if you've got wireless carplay going and then you go to the radio it turns off the recording on the phone anyways uh radio you've got uh the media which can be the aux or the sd uh this like i said is routed to the back um, there's kits for that or you can be like me and just buy it already done if you don't have the time to mess with it um, pretty much you just resolder these connections to to come around the back that way you can hide stuff you can put it in here you can put it in the armrest like i did you can put it over there in the glove box anything like that um the the microphones right here like i said the it, it works great um another note because this is a sel this has that fender system which has an amplifier up under the seat um you do need to do some coding in bcds uh there's lots of uh tutorials on what to do and what to change over on rcd330.com or 330plus.com either one of those um the the big thing is is when this comes out of the box it's not set for an amplifier so the outputs of this are going to be already like really really hot so then you take that and you amplify it and it sounds terrible and it'll want to blow the speakers out so you want to go in here and se select it down to the options that make it a lower sound output that way it can be amplified um, i've had no issues with um let's see i've had no issues with it sometimes it won't want to show any of these options like the balance and fader uh, it'll have issues with volume stuff like that i hadn't had any of those problems um, we can also see that here i did have to update it to uh this five third five five three six on the software uh, to get the wireless car play to work it was on five five two eight i believe it was was the older one and uh car when you put in the car play adapter just loop and loop and loop and kind of did what my other one did uh but once i updated the firmware of the head unit it worked fine and then i updated the firmware of the car play to air and and all is good um but anyways that's that's the thing um uh, reverse camera on this model works well on some of the newer ones they can't be converted you can't get a converter box for it because it uses a different signal actually through the can bus um so for those you do need to rerun a whole new camera which would be composite which is what this can do uh but i know for the 2015 passat and down the the backup camera works uh this works updatable if you have the fender system you just have to get vcds if you unplug this stupid light, it makes the airbag light go off, which then you have to get VCDS or go to the dealer. Uh, but anyways, if anybody has any questions, like I said, I'll, I'll post up something after a month or two. Uh, but so far, the thing works really well. The, the wireless CarPlay kind of connects within 15, 20 seconds, just about every time. Uh, I've only had to reset it twice, and I get in and out of the car a lot. You know, I do a lot of driving. So either way, you got any uh, questions or anything, holler.